I just bought this abandoned storage unit beside me for $170 and the crazy part is I see my money sitting on the table right in front of me. All the rest is going to be profit. Let's go take a look. So I paid $170 plus a 10% premium. If we can add $1,000 in profit, that's the goal and hit $1,200 in total value. We're going to get something cool away in this video. On this table right here is a PlayStation 4 console and I thought that's what was underneath of it. An Xbox One S console literally sitting on the table. Now, if they both work and everything, that's a big if. That's about $100 a piece. So that's about 200 bucks right there without even having to do any work. So let's start going through some of these totes. This one right here looks like it has a lot of cassettes in it. The right ones, especially rock music, can be worth a lot of money. Now, I don't know if any of these people are rock or not. The Temptations, Diana Ross, Let's Get It Done, Marvin Gaye. Uh, so a bunch of cassettes, and these are some CDs. These look like the religious ones that sell a lot. So they're probably not gonna be worth the most, but some of these cassettes here could definitely be valuable. So let's set this over here and go into this tote. Is that a Mickey Mouse clock? That could be worth some money. Let's see, that is a Mickey Mouse clock, isn't it? Look at that alarm clock. This has a really old Disney tag on the back. Well, back in the day, they paid $18 for this, but it's pretty cool, actually. Let's go in here a little more. Ooh, little bag. This is where they kept all their money, of course. Boom. No, little bag, another bag. There's a bag in here. This is where they kept the money, obviously. Boom. No, this one, little one, little one, little one. Right here. Boom. Okay, never mind. But let's see what else is in here. A golden light switch cover. That's when you know you got money like that. What's in here? Ooh, something's in this. This is, oh, bug stuff. Just what I wanted, just what I wanted. In a pill container, random. Ooh, we want paper clips and highlighters. Not so much. Looks like a bunch of office crap in, ooh, what's in here though? Something's in here. Mm, what is that, a charger? A charger to something, yeah. But other than that, it looks like just a bunch of cheap office crap. Let's go to this other tote right here. I see a lot of cases, maybe we can have some games for the consoles. Uh, no, these look like pretty much all DVDs, unfortunately. Not a bad thing, but not as good of a thing as your video games. Probably get like 50 cents to a buck a piece, maybe 10 bucks on the This old printer, I can almost guarantee you, it's not gonna work. So that's just garbage. But let's see, ooh, what's in this box right here? I like how they have a table set up there, isn't it nice? We have mirrors, what the heck? What is this? What in the world is this? An old alarm or something? <laughs> that's weird. There is elephant right here and then that? an auto escape hammer oh is this to break the window in case your thing falls your car falls into water that's probably i mean i don't even know if i'd be able to do that i feel like i'd be panicking so much that looks like a drill battery here maybe we could find the drill can we have an old phone i love looking at old phones you never know what information's on them but first thing can i figure out how to open the case there we go what is that just a samsung hmm huh. Might have to try to turn that on, see what's on it. I hope you guys don't hear that. We're right next door to the airport. Can you hear that? Yeah, literally 0.1 miles from the airport at this facility. So it's gonna be kind of annoying sometimes, but it is what it is. Here's the thing that everybody always has in their shed, like this thing of like random screws and nails and things that they're gonna use one day, but then they sit in here so long they rust and they stick together and become garbage. Other than that, just just a bunch of crap in there. Let's go to this bag. I like this black case though. Hmm, I wonder what's in there. But first, we got, hey look, there's an Xbox One controller and there's a PS4 controller. I didn't see these in the picture, so that's good. Now we have one controller to go with each of our consoles. Put them with the consoles right there. And then let's see what's in the box under it. Maybe this has some games in it. Uh, Deacons? No, it's just a bug. And a bunch of photo frames that don't even have photos in them. They're just empty frames. So, that. What's in this case, though? That looks interesting right here. Let's see. Open up. Open up. This is, what in the world? A CC220 computer charge scale? What the heck is that? I have no idea what this is or what that could be worth, but it could be some money. Turns out it's an electric scale, and even in pre-owned condition, it sells for about 100 bucks on eBay. Already 25% of the way there. You know what? I'm liking the progress. Let's see what's in this box now. What is that? A TENS unit? Is that the thing that like shocks you if you go, your heart stops or whatever? Uh, that's what it looks like. Some of these could be worth a lot of money, so we'll put that aside. What's in the cookie tent? We know one thing that's not in there for sure, and that's cookies. So, oh, candles. Why? Mm. Why? 
All right. These cassettes here look like they're stuff that's burned. There's a couple in here that are real ones, like this Harry Mary. Most of them just look like they have their own labels on them and stuff. So nothing is cool here. What is the wire? The complete series. I never even heard of it. This. There's a little Lego guy. You know, there's the right Lego guy could be worth like a hundred thousand dollars. There's like a gold one. What do you think's in this? Is that a wallet? Come on, open up. Boo. So we have some pictures here, VHS, and the rest of this just looks like CDs. A lot of them are burned ones. Oh look, these are GameCube games. Shrek 2 on the GameCube. We're gonna have to look through these now. And then Crazy Taxi on the GameCube. Okay, so that just caught, re caught my attention. Now I'm gonna have to look through some of these a little bit. Hmm. Cause there could be video games in there. So it looks like a lot of, there's Marvin Gaye again. Smokey Robinson. Those kind of CDs will take and keep the ones that are actual music and not just burnt. Let's go a little deeper in here. Jump, jump. Marvin Gaye again. Come on, I want more games. I want more games. Where are the games at? Where are the games? These are all burnt ones. Put them over here. Over this side, maybe? Come on. Where are the video games? Where is James Brown? Where are the video games? No, it doesn't look like we're gonna have any more, unfortunately. But hey, at least we got a couple video games over there. I'll take it. This right here, what is that? That is just a mirror. Okay, but it's new in box, so that's a couple bucks. This here, the travel memory tray. It's like a shadow box. Let's see if they've used it or if it's new. Let's see. No, it's brand new, actually. So you can put mm. pictures in the bottom and make a tray out of it. That's kind of cool. Go back in there. Back in. This, that's a kitchen that you know makes good food right there. When I have that in there. And then we have scale another scale uh what else this oh just a portable, portable dvd player make sure that's what's in there is that what that is yeah that's what that is i thought it was a laptop at first but no that's what it is portable dvd player right there some of those are randomly expensive too let's bring this whole thing over umbrella cat williams and murder what is this, this is this a vhs player oh VHS DVD combo. Some of these are worth like 50 or 60 bucks too, depending on the model. So that's definitely something we're gonna have to look up. Let's dig a little more over here and get this stack of cases. See if any of these are games. Because that's a lot of game stuff we found in here. DMX. No, mostly DVDs, unfortunately. And this right here, what is that? Oh, just a speaker, I guess. Let's see what's in this stuff over here. It looks like I see a Jordan in that bag right there. But this right here, just all closed. Yeah, this is all closed. No one cares about that. Let's look in this one. That's a Jordan bag. At least one Jordan. A pair of slides. Oh, no, there they are. Come out, come out, come out. Ooh. Not the cleanest pair, but they're in pretty good shape overall. I only paid 170 bucks for the entire unit, so that's probably a good amount of money back again. These are the Jordan 13 OG. He got game shoes, and if you look them up on eBay, low end, they're about 75 bucks. High end, they go for well over $200, so we'll call it 100. Let's go a little deeper. Stupid planes! They're so loud. They're so loud. And then over here, ew! Look at that little Naruto hoodie. <laughs> oh, sorry, made me sick. Um, oh, look at these. These are my colors right here. I love black, red, and white. That's like my favorite color combination, especially on shoes. And then if we go a little deeper in here, was oh, it another pair? And those are just Pumas. Uh, anything else? Uh, the rest of the basket looks like it's just closed. Halfway to our goal, and there's still so much more in this unit. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. This basket, all closed. Not gonna go through it. Let's go to this over here. I already went through those. This is a two-piece glass party set, and it's definitely something in there. I'm assuming it's in there, but let's make sure. It's not something random. No, that's what it is. You can see the little glass set from here. That's not bad, it's probably five bucks or so. What's in the big voice box? Oh, it's heavy too. Here's all the video games. Boom. Ah. Mm. Paperwork, 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 papers, papers, papers. Not what we wanted to see in a heavy box, but a lot of times that's what's in a heavy box. What about this? Does this have anything in it? Empty, empty, and empty. Let's go to this bag here. By the way, if you haven't taken a second and liked the video yet, you're a psycho. And if you're not subscribed, consider yourself criminal. Make sure you do that right now. Let's keep going in here. This is, well, what is that actually? Oh, it's a whiteboard on top of a puzzle. Uh -huh. This is nothing besides a vase and a towel. Sometimes you gotta wonder why people store things the way they do. It is kind of random sometimes. Let's go to this tote here. 
What's in this one? Oh, office supplies. Office, office. There's some cards. What are they open? Let's see. Give me some money. Where is that? Open up. What is that? What is that? Oh, just that. Come on. Where's the card? Where's the money in the card? Oh, is that sealed? We got a sealed one. It has nothing on the front. Let's see. What did you get? 100 bucks. Bang. Oh. Come on. Okay, one more. One more. One more. Let's go to this white one. Okay, two more. I'm on. Two more. Two more. Come on. One of them. It's like playing a slot machine. Dang it. Last one. Last one. Come on. Come on. This one feels thick. This one feels thick. Here it is. Oh, that's why. It's one of those cards. Dang it. All right, let's go back into the basket or tote. Papers. 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 Anything in here? Make sure there's no cards or nothing. No. 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 Yeah, this is just all paper. Let's see what's in this bag. There was four bags. The other three had nothing but pillows, so I took them out. This one has a pair of boots in it. Come here. Come here. here. These are pretty nice. What brand are they? Oh, these are Ugg. Look at that. Hmm. I bet you they're fairly expensive. Some Ugg boots to go with the Jordan. Not bad. Let's see what else is in here. This is the only one that had like something in it other than pillows, so I wanted to look through it before we tossed it. Let's see. This right here. Oh, that's a giant piece of hair. The thing with these are they're so random. Like one's worth $3 and one's worth $100, so it's so random to see what's worth what. Other than that though, the rest of it is literally hair and clothes, but I'll take the Ugg boots. Back here we have two of these uh, room dividers. They're not super expensive, but they're probably like retail to 100 bucks a piece. They'll probably go for 40 or 50 bucks a piece on like a Facebook marketplace. So we'll leave those there. Let's go this way. Well, first there's this thing. I don't know what that thing is, but I wanted to be able to get to this right here. It says glass on it. Hoping that's not the case, unless it's something super nice. No, it's glass, all right. Well, let's check the brand out and see what it is. It says on the bottom, Gibson. Now you guys know, I don't know anything about dishware and cups. So if you know that these are nice, definitely make sure you leave a comment and let us know. Cause it looks like, yeah, they're all Gibson. So this is an entire set of Gibson in this box right here. So I looked this Gibson brand up on eBay and the prices seem to be all over the place depending on the pattern and the year it was made. But on average, I'd say they average are like five to $10 a piece. And this box had 17 pieces in it. So it could be as high as a hundred bucks or more. It could be as low as like 50 bucks. We'll call it 50 just to be conservative. Let's go to these totes in the corner right Right here, this one's heavy. This one's see-through. This one's not as much of a mystery as the other one. This whole box for that, really? Why? Okay, let's go into this one. This one again looks like all paper, 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 paper all the way through. We're just gonna set that one over here. Ooh, I see some boxes down here. But first, what's this? That seems interesting too. These jewelry boxes in here? Oh, these are all crayon, the coloring pencils. But this right here, is that a jewelry box? Let's see, come here, up oh, wrong way. Oh, whoa, look at the price tag on that. 14 karat gold crucifix pendant, 500 <laughs> bucks. I don't see the pendant, but the gold, the necklace is gold, that's still some money right there. Hey, what about this one? Oh, those are just two little Santa hats. Save them for the cats. This one, what's in here? Remington, it's gonna be a razor. Forget they make razors too. When I think of Remington, you guys know what I think of, but you know, that. Let's see what's in here. These are screwdrivers. There's an old knife in there. Check that out. Really old knife. I'll put that aside. Is this a Fitbit? A Fitbit Flex. These are like a hundred bucks if it's in there. Feels like it's in there too. These things aren't heavy. Is it sealed? Oh no, the bottom's open. I was about to say. Ugh. Gosh, well, we're just gonna open that later. Turns out it was in there and it's the Fitbit Flex 2 in pretty good shape and it sells for about 60 bucks. 75% of the way there. I smell free stuff coming. It's not cooperating with me. This is a diary. This right here is, oh, come here, come here. Cards galore. Definitely have to look through those. All these cookie tins are enticing. I can't lie to you. That's empty. What's in the cookie tin? Definitely not empty. Let's see what's in the cookie tin. A couple chargers. No. What about this one? Oh, this one's heavy, heavy. Let's see what's in there. Hardware, exactly what you expect to find when you find these in a garage. That one feels like it might be empty. Let's check $100 bill, nothing. Let's keep going in here. Uh, really? Rubber bands? What is this? This one feels nice. That was a, look at the price tag, it was in there. It was a $750 something, 14 karat something. It's not in there anymore. Ah, oh, what is this one? Come on, this is where the jewelry is at. 
This is a phone and some paperwork. Oh, we gotta dig deep in this box here. What about this? Come on, come on. That's a glucose meter. And then, come on. Here's the glasses container. No actual glasses. Other glasses container, right here. Money, come on, open up. It's empty, I can see it in there. This is some type of medication. This is some type of medication. Tumbler? What's in there? I gotta make sure there's nothing hidden inside. <laughs> mints. Old expired mints. Uh, random, random. All the way at the bottom we have this thing, which is a blood pressure monitor that looks like it's still in the box, so not a bad tote. So let's go to this mystery tote here. This one's not see through, so this one's a complete toss up. And we got, well, let's see. A random DVD with some random paperwork. Oh, something's in here. What is that? Come on. <laughs> Rubber bands. Another empty phone box. Let's get this out the way. There's the top to a jewelry box right here. Is this one? <laughs> ah, empty. What about over here? Office stuff. Here comes another plane. Uh, hardware, random garage stuff. Um, let's see. What is that? That's a picture frame, isn't it? Let me see. Yeah, it's got somebody's picture in it. Let's keep digging, keep digging. Papers, papers, papers. What about this? All the papers, huh? And the rest of this tote, yeah, this one's all just junk. Let's go to the tote in the corner. What is this one? Oh, oh, no clothes, no clothes. There's some hats. Is that a jersey? Do we have a jersey? Well, not really. It looks like a high school jersey or something. Let's see. Clothes, clothes, clothes on this side. More clothes, more clothes. We're not gonna look through this one. We're just gonna box it back up, just like that. And I'm gonna grab this giant one here. It looks like clothes, but could be some other stuff hidden. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. This is all clothes, and she wears bricks. Let's see what's in here. This is clothes. Hey, this is another pair of Jordans, it looks like. But let's look in here. What the heck is that? It's like a dirty old office fan. You see that? That's disgusting. And why is mm -hmm. it wrapped up in here? But another pair of Jordans. Again, not super clean, but not bad either. Good shape. Then we go over here. What the heck are these? Oh, these are champions. Okay, nice shoes though. Nice shoes, I'll put them aside. What else is in here? A little deeper. Clothes, clothes. Come on, there's gotta be something under these clothes. There has to be. No, it doesn't look like it on this side. What about this side? This side's where the money's at. This is where it's at. Ugh. No, actually, it's all closed as well. Before I go through the next box, I just want to say there's two items that have fallen out of the boxes we've taken out, and I'm letting you have either one choice for free. Which one would you like? The um, pad or the used panties? Well, the pad looks barely used. I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah, if it was on storage wars, that barely used pad, it's probably 15 <laughs> bucks all day. <laughs> this, the paper, and some books. Meh. Let's go to the big um, box here. Ooh, it's heavy. What's in here? No more paper. I'm tired of paper. Oh, what is that? Let's see. Barack Obama, hat, Obama again. These could be collectible because they're probably from when he first took office. Let's see, this is all Obama stuff. Really? Look at this. All Obama stuff. All the way through. All Obama stuff. Okay. That randomly, I'm telling you, could be worth some money because it could be collectible. These are Obama playing cards. Look at this. This is like a whole Obama kit. This is either a paper bag or a laptop bag. I'm hoping for B. What the heck? Speakers. Maybe it's a desktop bag, you know? A nothing. desktop bag. Yeah, maybe. No, there's nothing in there, actually. It's just random, like, stuff like this. I don't know what this is. Another plane. Let's go to this toe here. Whoa, come here. Oh, wow. Just a brick of clothes and pillows in there. Not what I wanted to see. Let's see what this thing is. Philip, I can't read that, it's too long. It's past my pay grade. That is a, what the heck is it? A CPAP or something? Or a breathing machine or something like that? I'm not too sure, but something medical. Put that there. 
That was a Philips CPAP machine and I actually made $200 within 30 minutes of listing this on Facebook Marketplace before they took it down. Well, that's $1,200 in value and trust me, this unit still has more to give, so don't go nowhere. But because we hit it, I think we're gonna give away one of these game systems, either the Xbox One S or the PS4. You know what? Next WhatNot stream we have, we're giving away either an Xbox One S or a PlayStation 4. So sign up using our link right here on screen, go down there and follow our page at THWG because we're gonna give away one of these freaking consoles for free. Just make sure you're subscribed and you follow us on whatnot. This, oh, this is heavy. What is that, a speaker? Or, it's like nothing. There's nothing to like insert nothing, it's just a brick. What the heck? I have no idea what that thing is, but that. This, what is it, like an AC? AC or heater, that's not bad. And here we got, hey look, a pair of roller skates. We'll take them. They're pretty clean, actually. These are pretty clean. You should test them out. Uh, no, I like my face <laughs> being intact, actually. But it even has the button there. That's the button. In case you don't like your face being intact, you press that while skating, and it corrects it instantly. You go nose first into the ground. And the rest of the bag is empty, besides a highlighter and some hardware. And then we got this. What is this? Uh, oxygen tank. That's what that is, an oxygen tank. Never brush oxygen tanks aside because even small and completely empty, they still can fetch 40 bucks on eBay and sometimes a lot more than that. The only thing left is a filing cabinet. Anything inside? Empty. And, oh, not empty. Let's see. Is it all files up? Files, files, files. Yeah, unfortunately it's all files, so nothing in there. But we do have two. Hidden shelves, that's gotta be worth something, right? That was a fun storage unit, but if you wanna see one of our best ones we ever hit in our last one, $180 for our famous rapper storage unit, click down here. If you wanna see one where we found a safe with weapons in it, click down here. We broke it open and it's just crazy. Go check one of them out. Until next time, peace out.